A story that is new tonight, Governor Ducey has now released an extensive plan to fight the opioid epidemic that is now plaguing Arizona. Political editor Dennis Welch is standing by in the newsroom helping break down how the governor's plan is going to work for us. Dennis. Yeah, first of all, I just want to show you, this is a copy here of that 90-page plan that the governor's office released this morning. Now, the biggest piece in here that could change, really, and affect everybody here in Arizona would be just how painkillers here are prescribed. Now, under these proposed sweeping guidelines, Arizona would limit, limit opioid prescriptions to just five-day supply for new patients. Now, this would apply to every Arizonan, uh, not just those receiving government assistance. Now, here's the head of Arizona's Department of Health Services explaining why they're calling for this change. Well, hopefully, what that would do is for those people that didn't need a, the additional medication, you would have less around for it to become diverted. You would limit them to a less risky time period for being on opioids. Now, regarding that five-day limit, I want to point out that a recent study by the CDC shows that dependency on opioids really drastically raises after just five days of use. But for many of these changes, the governor is going to need legislative approval. But given the grim numbers we're now seeing relating to this opioid epidemic, I would predict that the governor is going to get all, if not most, of what he wants. All right, all right, Dennis, a couple of questions for you tonight. First off, how many people have actually died from overdoses of being high on opioids? Yeah, and those numbers are really grim in the last year. Nearly two people every day in Arizona were dying from an opioid overdose. Um, and over the past uh, two and a half months, we've seen almost 300 people die from opioid-related overdoses and another 3,200 um, uh, opioid overdoses where people actually live. So again, this is a big problem in Arizona, and the governor is taking this very seriously. Yeah, it's interesting that he um, extended tracking those numbers. So does his plan involve more police enforcement? Yeah, and this is a really key component there. They talk to a lot of police officers before they put together this plan. And one of the things they want out there is they want to be able to go out and, uh, tr and hit the guys, the bad actors they're calling them, that are over prescribing, illegally prescribing these drugs. And again, they also want to ratchet up penalties uh, for people who are dealing these drugs on the street level. Again, they're really taking this uh, uh, very seriously and really aggressively trying to get this plan in place. We've even talked about doctors, a couple of doctors in the Three state of, of them Arizona. In the Three state of, of Arizona. They're just over prescribing mm -hmm. uh, opioids to their to their patients. It's an unbelievable practice that is happening in our state contributing uh, to to the addiction crisis that we're seeing. Dennis Welch as always, thank you very much for that information.